Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and I am back today with another mystery jewelry unboxing. This is, I think, the second unboxing that I have done for this particular consigner. She is a subscriber here to my channel. She's become such a sweet friend. Um, and I treasure her just as I treasure all of you. So we are gonna see what she sent this time. Last time, you guys will remember this consigner particularly. She had those beautiful wedding cake beads. Oh my gosh, they were to die for. So if this is your first time here, we do mystery jewelry unboxings. I source jewelry from all over the world. Um, and I have my own um, auction house here in Houston um, where I also take consignments. I purchase my own inventory and I've also recently began accepting um, consignments from viewers who have their collections if they would like to um, sell through my various auction channels. So if you are interested in selling with me, please reach out via email. My email is in the description box below. If you um, are interested in purchasing, um, all of my selling links are also in that same description box below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. It definitely helps when you guys subscribe and I appreciate you all being here. So we'll have fun. You will remember this, especially because of the bubble wrap. So let's go. Oops. Oh, look at that. That's gold. Hello, gold. My hands are badly stained. That is not marker. That is from, oh, that's 12K. So this is black, black kills, black forest gold, black kills gold. And that's a ruby. Look at it glow. Ooh. So genuine ruby should glow like that. Beautimus. Well, that's a way to start a video. I was in a bag with this, which I'm assuming might also be gold. Yeah, this is definitely gold. I can feel it. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see here. We have a Fiji Mingle. We have a Fiji Mingle. That is such a funny word. One of our um, um, traffic broadcasters on a local radio station says Fiji Mingle all the time and it's just kind of become a <laughs> thing that I say. Um, he, he's a funny guy. So here's these ones. These are interesting. Natural stone and brass. Made in Germany. Oh, that's fun. Beautiful enameling, love that. Turquoise, silver. Yep, that's gonna be silver. So all silver and gold is signed and tested. So once it hits the auction block, um, uh, it will have been tested and my hands are proof. I even got some of the testing acid on my arm and it's just, ugh. You've gotta be really careful because it does burn a little bit but the gold acid stains really badly and for a long time. Look at this Millefiori, beautiful beads. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. It's definitely on the vintage side. So it's Japan, definitely fun, fun vintage. And this looks like Jade. It's jade. Beautiful bracelet. It's probably at least set with sterling, maybe with gold. I don't know. That's 925. A beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Uh-oh. Okay. Kind of looks like German. Germany. I see that W there. So that's West Germany. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Chain may not. Oh yeah. Chain is German. Chain sure is German. That's a beaut. Oops. Ouch. Ooh, that stabbed me. You know this is going to be old because that pin sticks out super far. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is old. Very rhodium plated. Ooh, 
Look how dimensional. And looks like we have matching earrings. I don't believe they're signed, but they are gorgeous. Are gorgeous. Yeah, I won't need bubble wrap for like a week. She sends the good bubble too. Look at this. Oh man, this is this is a beauty. Open bezel backs. Yeah, that's stunning. That construction is amazing. This is old. She's a beauty. Probably 1950s. Now this one. Oh my Lanta. Look at that. That is glass. And hand painted. This might be 40s. Might. Could be wrong, but I don't think that I am. Look how gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I love that closure and the construction on the back. This looks very European. I love that. Like a blue opaline kind of reminds me of like France. Mmm. Beauty. So sterling. Stunning, stunning moon glow glass beads. Let's see. Yeah, I think those are glass. This is really, really nice. This is a beautiful rosary. Oh. Now here's an antique. Here's the antique, buddy. Let me tell you, these beads, these beads are amazing. These are antiques for sure. I would venture to say Czechoslovakian based on that construction and that design. It's very kind of not tango in color, but they uh, check tango and, you know, the vases and bowls and, and um, figurals they did a lot of that sort of texturing yeah i love this and just for kicks and giggles let's yeah they glow a little bit but not green they just glow <laughs> they're gorgeous oh my gosh whatever this is it's... oh this is wrapped really well Ooh, barrera Jose Barrera, I believe it is for Avon. This is a good piece. Gold tone, panel link, panel articulated. Gorgeous, in very, very good shape. No gold loss that I can see. And Barrera is good. Barrera is a very good brand. Very good costume designer. And they did do some stuff for Avon. So it's always fun to come across those pieces. And I'm sorry, we had another chemical spill here. Actually, some people passed away from it last night. The spill was like at 4 p.m. And I had already had some allergy issues before that. <coughs> Sinus issues. And it got way worse after that. The whole city where I live and even the neighboring city where my office is at smelled like a rotten egg. So really, really not fun. So this looks like ebony. Maybe with some brass inlay, and then you've got this guy here to go with it. Oh yeah, this is super mid-century. I am loving this, and look at that old barrel closure. Yeah, that's fun. That's definitely a fun set right there. And I will sew this together. I don't always put stuff together in sets, but that will be an exception. So yeah, my sinuses are messed up. My throat hurts. Yeah, it's just all the all the things, all the things, man. Okay, we have some hoops. These feel very delicate, and they're tie. Come on and focus, man. That's annoying. I'm sorry, y'all. 
Well, she don't want to focus today. So it's probably a, a sterling with gold for me, but they feel so thin. I love those. I'm going to set them aside and look closer off camera. Ooh, look at that old trombone clasp. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's fun. And that is March 925. Oh, yeah. That's stunning. So I don't know if maybe there were two stones there. I'll have to look closer. Yeah, it looks like maybe there was. But I am I probably can fix that. Looks like one there too. But that's an oldie, so it will definitely be worth fixing. So 14K crown pin. Ooh, look how sweet. Little seed pearls. And she'll probably be signed on that stem because I'm not seeing it uh, anywhere else. Gosh, she's cute. Little cutie. Ooh, a little stick pen. And that's very Navajo. Very, very Navajo with coral. Oh, yeah, this is gorgeous. That's definitely sterling. That signs something there. Beautiful inlay. And another. That's sweet. Sterling. So pretty. She sent some gold this time. Look at her getting all fancy on me. So sterling like infinity hoop. I mean gold infinity hoops. And this customer, she's actually getting to go on a really nice vacation soon. She offered to bring me something back. Isn't that sweet? I just want her to have a good time. That's all. Look at this oldie. Super, super Victorian revival. I love it. I am in love with this. Absolutely stunning. So this would be the front. This kind of reminds me of like a one of those mesh bags, like a tiny mesh bag, a buckle of some sort. Interesting. So pretty. All sterling. 14K, 1900s. That's an old band. Oh, we want to see the date. 19, maybe 1901. Oh, it's like a little baby's ring, I guess. Like a very petite lady's pinky ring. That's cute. Very cool, mother of pearl. Those might be rubies. Yep. Those are rubies. See that red glow? This is very pretty, very nice. A little band ring signed in there. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at that opal and beautiful amethyst. That's a really, okay. That's a really, really nice color combination. And signed there. So I would definitely say that's sterling. That's an oldie. Old, old silver. This might be old pawn. Might be. Sign in there. Let's say 10K. 925. 925, my lore. My lore, however you say that. Okay, beautiful band ring. Like it, like it. Ooh, more opals, more opals. Sterling, very beautiful. Oh, this is pretty. Really, Kendra Scott. This is really, really nice. I don't really care for her jewelry very much, but this one's beautiful. 
Wow, this is really, really nice. Yeah, like many, many years ago, I bought my sister-in-law um, a, a very expensive necklace from Kendra Scott. And, you know, I'm not much of a, oh, 14K. Sterling in 14K. I'm not much of like a go in the store and shop. I love to do online. So anyhow, ordered this necklace. She opens it Christmas morning. It is like broke, like pieces broke. Like they should be ashamed to send something out like that. And I just, I've had a thing against her ever since. I guess I should grow up and stop being mean, but precious, precious. 14K and 925. This reminds me of International Gold. International Gold Company. My great aunt used to get a lot of um, jewelry from them. Art. Art as in Arthur Pepper. Oh, and it actually, uh, get out of town. Get out of town. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah, sign right there. Art. That's Arthur Pepper. Very good costume designer. That's cute. I've never seen that one before. Little pendant purse. Okay, this is Joan. Joan Rivers, a nice large one. Ooh, look at those beautiful rhinestones. My gosh. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to put that over here so I don't ding it. So Sterling and 14K. Okay, cooperate. K1E Israel. Beautiful pearls and those little caviar spacers. I love. So very likely the 14 is going to be this. These little gold ball spacers are probably the 14 carat. Oh, and look, those are opals. Look at that. Little opal balls. I love you. Oh yeah, and they're opals, they're glowing. I am not going to show you the glow because pearls see, so pearls do react to black light. I'm just gonna show you. But you see how they kind of have that sheen, but look at those opals, might not pick it up. This is a really strong, and someone asked me which one I use, and I might've shown it once, but in case not, this is the brand, Gloss Day. Now it takes like a million batteries. One, two. Okay, so it takes six, but this still, that's a lot. <laughs> takes a lot of batteries, but it is super high powered. Um, in the box, when it came, it said, great for salamander hunting. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, not salamander, scorpion hunting. And I was like, yeah, no, won't be doing any of that. So for those that have asked, there you go. So, beautiful necklace. <clears throat> mm, yummy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, I love, oh yeah, I love that closure. So, this doesn't appear to be signed, but that is A-OK. -okay. Look at that, that's stunning. Ooh, this says Florenza. Ooh, and it spins. I don't know if it's supposed to on purpose. Well, okay. So this is a pendant. You've got your adapter there. There's your Florenza mark behind there. Florenza is also a very good costume designer. Beautiful black rhinestones. And you've got this piece here. That's beautiful. Add a chain to it. Kendra Scott. 
Edgar Scott. Beautiful, beautiful druzy. Very, very pretty. All right. I'm sure this is silver. I'm not seeing a mark right away, but this is super pliable. I'm pretty sure that's silver. And then we have this Victoria Townsend Sterling Silver. $200. Look at that. So we have genuine diamonds. Black diamonds. Ooh. I love me a black diamond. Black diamonds are so underrated. And they don't get the attention they deserve. Oh, that's pretty. A beautiful opal. And that's at least going to be silver. It might be gold. Or it might be unmarked. But that's a beautiful opal. Let me just... Oh, yeah. We've got a beautiful glow. It's so hard to show you the opal glow. There it is. See that? So. Mm. I love this doming. So it's kind of domed. Mm. Beautiful greens. Green, green, green. So stunning. Love that. Ooh, more opals. Little um, pixie fairy holding a little opal. That's so sweet. I'm sure that's going to be sterling. These are of very good quality. They are heavy and very good construction. Oh yeah, those are stunning. They say something. See Sterling and then like a maker's mark. Vendel. Vendel. Very nice. Like we have more gold. She's getting fancy on me. Beautiful little hoops. Always need a hoop earring. The ladies, right? Oh, I'm digging these. Let's see. Ooh, beautiful enameling. I love that doming. Not signed, but these are super cool. I love those. And more. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opals. Probably going to be set with sterling. Ah, Givenchy. Givenchy. Even stamped in the pearl. Wow. So this is really, really good quality. And that one there is stamped in the pearl too. That's aw that's awesome. I'm gonna keep these over here with that butterfly so I don't scratch them. Mm -mm. So probably lapis or enameling. Yeah, that's lapis. Definitely going to be sterling. Very pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Some earrings came out of that one. Oh, I know what these are. I did get to see these. Okay. So this jewelry, uh, the last time she sent... This jewelry did crazy, like, it's, ooh, and we've got some uranium. Oh, okay. So you all know this brand, but you just, a lot of people don't realize he makes jewelry. So this is Jay Strongwater. Look at that. 
Beautiful, 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 multi-layered beads. And these are old beads. So I don't know if they were able to get their hands on, you know, some, look, look at the glow. Yeah, those are, those are everything. I love them. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful glow to them. Love that. So, so, so pretty. And it looks like we might have, I'm going to actually keep these in their wrapping. Another J Strong Water. Yeah. Beautiful um, satin type beads. Beautiful closure. Yep, these are glowers too. So that has uranium in it for sure. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And I'm gonna keep these over here. And so these go with the necklace. Yes, with the first necklace we saw. And they're stamped in there. They have the little cartouche. And then these ones go with the necklace we just saw. And those are also stamped. How brilliant. I love that set. I don't want anything to happen. Beautiful silver tone, Monet, very simplistic design, absolutely stunning. What have we here? Ooh, beautiful cuff bracelet. Oh, and it's signed. Citizen? What does that say? Kuzan. Kuzan? 925. That's gorgeous. This is large. I'm not going to put it on because I don't want to bend it, but um, that's a really nice large piece. Look at that. Very cool. Yes, please. Okay. Ooh, this is like an arpeggio style. Japan. Berger. Beautiful bracelet. I love this. It's simple and it's elegant and it's going to pull my arm hairs. Oh, yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah. I love that arpeggio like style stretch. Love that. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh, these feel like ice, like touching little cubes of ice. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh, these are tangled. Okay. Look at these. Sterling silver. Even got a hang tag. Definitely 925. I can't really make that out from here. Maybe it says ATI, ESJ, SBJ. Um, look at these hand knotted beads. These are gemstones, probably a venturine, but they're all hand knotted and they are ice cold. I wish you guys could reach through and feel it. They're like legit. It's like putting ice on your hands. It's so cold. And it was a very warm 90 degree day today. Ugh. Ooh, look at this huge, huge monster. Let's see. Like three and a quarter inch. Ah, Limoges Porcelain, France. It's in great shape. 
Look at those prongs. Now, this is beautiful. Definitely beautiful. Definitely right up my alley. Oh, oh. Oh, he's sweet. Let's look at one at a time. Look how cute. So he's made of, don't know, maybe some sort of acrylic or plastic. So sweet. And then we have this. She's gorgeous. She's signed. She's signed Weiss. Well, how about that? That say Weiss. It does. Beautiful. A little bit of enamel loss, but overall, I mean, this is great. Bright and cheery. Bright, bright and cheery, which I am not early in the mornings. I should be. It's a blessing to wake up in the morning, but still haven't gotten to be cheery about it yet. All right. So is this Tory Birch, I believe? Yeah, Tory Birch. Like a leather. And then her logo. That's pretty. Oh, this is a really long piece that you can layer with. CL. Oh, this is um, Chen Lu, I believe. Yep. Really, really long um, necklace. You can do anything. So we have pearls. We have glass. Those are glass pearls. Little crystals, maybe. Um, those are morpho pearls or glass pearls. These are gorgeous and they feel nice too. They feel cold. A few more things. Okay, Jason. <gasps> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's just look at this one first. Look at this. Look at that beautiful construction. I mean, that foiling on the back is really, really good. There's no safety chain, but I don't care. And then look. Immaculate piece. And if that's not enough, look what comes with it. Absolutely stunning. Very good condition. Again, the foiling is in really good shape in the back. That doesn't always happen. Yeah, that's a stunning set right there. And it definitely deserves to be sold together. So it'll be necklace and bracelet. And that's just, that is so fun. Look at those fine rhinestones. No idea who made it yet. I'll do my process of illumination. This will be our last piece. Oh, this is silver. Malor, Mylor, Italy. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. A little twisted, but I'll get that worked out. Look at that. Stunning. Let me put it over here so I don't get it. And last but not least. Oh, this is gorgeous. So we have gold tone. Hmm, who are you? With a P. Let's look at the front. Love that very textured gold tone. It's not badly worn that I can see. Faux pearls, your shepherd's closure, shepherd's hook closure. Not signed there. Let's look at the back. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Right offhand, I'm not sure who P is. By the time this video posts, I will have figured it out. But go ahead and throw it in the comments if you knew it. Um, and we'll see. We'll see who gets it right. So this is a beauty. And what a way to end. I mean, this consignment, like, there's everything from, like, very modern, you know, Kendra Scott to, like, the most antique, beautiful beads I've ever seen. You know, beads and brooches, they're my jam. 
If you want to know how to get to my heart, it's by right here. Beads, brooches. You got this. I'll love you forever. Just kidding. I love you forever anyway. So that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is an amazing consignment. Um, there was, of course, more than this, but if, um, some of these bigger consignments, I have to do a little bit of sorting beforehand um, to decide which platform they go on. So this is the things that will hit auction on high bid. So be watching for that. If you are interested in consigning with me, please reach out. My contact information is linked in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time.